G'day guys, welcome to today's video. Thanks so much for joining us. So in this one we're chasing some snapper and we're not too far offshore at all. We're in around 40 meters of water and only eight kilometers out. So let's get straight out there and stay tuned for plenty of helpful tips and information along the way. Good morning, everyone. It's um, pitch black. There's just a little bit of orange glow on the horizon starting to appear. We're out here chasing snapper this morning and if you've watched any of my videos in the past, I can't stress enough how important it is, especially on the shallower reefs, to um, fish those low light periods of early morning and late afternoon. So after that, the snapper can uh, honestly just go off the bite if the sun comes up too high in the sky. So we're out here in the dark this morning and uh, our first baits are just in the water. There's plenty of fish on the sounder. Fingers crossed as that sun slowly starts to rise, they come on the bite. We've got Matt here, my brother today. He hasn't been in the boat for a little while. And of course, Dad's here as well. So I've got a bit of an issue with my foot where I had to go get x-rays yesterday. Could be a little fracture, I don't know. Something's not good though. So I'm gonna be sitting down most of the day, fishing or trying to fish. But uh, these guys will be up there, hopefully pulling weight for me. So anyway, fingers crossed. I'll talk you through what we're doing the whole day. and you know, all our gear, some tips, all that sort of stuff, and hopefully we have some hot action. So anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully we're on soon, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and share it with your mates. All right, let's get into it. The right time of the morning for them. We just need a bite. Yeah, yeah, we were actually a bit worried at first. We did a few drifts over a good school of bait on the sounder and didn't even get a bite. I went to have a look around for a new school of fish and thankfully first drift over it, Dad hooked up. Nice, Dad. That looks okay. It's a snapper, it's bobbin. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully legal. I didn't think I was anywhere near the water. No, you probably weren't. Yep. This is the first hookup of the day, guys. Done a couple of drifts and we were sort of going, well, this isn't too good so far. Hopefully it's a legal snapper. Not very big. No, but it'll be a start. Oh yeah, it'll be legal. Yeah. Very nice. We'll hold that up for you in a second. Just a little panty. Just on 40 centimetres. Nice fish. As you can see that sun's just coming up in the background. First fish on deck. Nice one, Dad. Hopefully they get bigger. Yeah. All right. Get back Keep down. Keep going. So as always, guys, going to do a brain spike with the icky pick here. Bleed it and then chuck it straight in the esky. So anyway, see how we go here. Yep. As you can see there, he's doing a bit of a flick, but as soon as that hits his brain, that is just nerves then. Now he'll relax. He's even gone a little bit pale, which is another sign that you've got him. You can give that a bit of a wiggle to make sure. But that has got him good. And then, I'm gonna cut both sides of the gills here. Just like that. As you can see, he's already starting to bleed a bit. Both sides cut in behind the gills, and then he will bleed out in that bucket of water there. We'll give him a couple of minutes. As you can see, there's heaps pouring out, which is what you want. Give him a couple of minutes in there, then straight into the ice slurry. Dad's onto another one. I just bled that one for you. Dad dropped down again just before we go up for another drift. And he's on again. Beautiful sky in the background. I'm trying not to stand up with my foot, but. They're not that far down. I think Matt knew might be going far. As you can see, guys, there's a bit of breeze coming this way, and we've got the sea anchor out or drogue. Yeah, that's another one. Be just legal. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. But as you can see, we've got the sea anchor out the back there because there's a bit of breeze pushing us along, and there's actually a current underneath going the other way. So we're struggling to get down a little bit. But yeah, that uh, sea anchor, if we weren't using that, we'd be flying along with this wind. So that's a really handy thing if you're gonna snap a fish and 
The other thing is we've got a canopy here on the boat and we've actually folded that down so it doesn't catch wind like a sail. So that's just measuring that one. Looks like it's gonna be legal, just. But uh, we haven't had a red hot start, so we'll take it. Oh yeah, nearly 40. Yeah, 38. 38. got to be 35 here in Queensland. I'll let you deal with him, eh? I'll give him the royal treatment as well. It's so important to focus your efforts around shows of bait or fish on the sounder. We weren't getting any bites at all with a blank screen, but as soon as we drift onto a good show, we'd get a bite. Matt's dropping on some fish right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Matt's on. On the drop, eh, Matt? I saw that. He's all right. Spaniard! <laughs> <laughs> it's a grinner. Think you'll need a net? <laughs> it's gonna be small. It's a bit close, I think. That is a bit heavier rod, so here we got colour. He's alright, Matt. He's only got one hook. Nice, Matt. Let's him line out. Well, that winch just got up, as I said. We've just come up for another drift. Plenty of good shows on the sound are up that line that we just drifted down, so hopefully we can go over them again, but we're gonna struggle to get down. We might just have to let a lot of line out by the feel of it. But uh, I'll quickly talk you through the gear I'm using and what they're using as we drop our baits down. Hopefully you can hear me through the wind. Apologies if, if there's wind noise, because uh, it's about 10 knots plus now. As you can see here, we have a ball sinker running straight down on top of the hooks, and this rig is a couple of 4 -o or 5 -o hooks snelled together. The front hook goes through the eye or hard part of the nose, and the other one goes through the back. Make sure the line between the hooks isn't tight or your bait will spin. We're having to use a bit larger ball sinker on this trip due to the wind and current. All right, so what I'm running is uh, six to 10 kilo rod, 20 pound braid and 20 pound leader. And that's, that's our usual when we're float lining or fishing baits for snapper. Matt's got a bit heavier there. He's got 30 pound. Dad's got 20 pound leader, but um, that's gonna cover you for most fish and, and even stop most of your big ones. See, I'm just thumbing the spool to let that down as slow as possible. Probably let it down a bit quicker now that there's this bit of breeze just to get down in the zone. And uh, the goal is to hopefully get hit on the drop. And that's how pretty much all the fish and bites have come today again. But if not, if you do make it to the bottom, you can uh, wind it up just a couple of winds so you don't get a snag and leave it down there and uh, you can catch fish that way too. We'll see how we go this drift. Yep. Oh, for God's sake. That was a good fish. That was a snapper. It's a bite. Yeah. Snapper. Snapper. Stay on, please. It'll be legal anyway. Yeah, he's all right. Feels weird sitting down to fight a fish, but anyway. I got it today. Now, as I was saying before, guys, that one just hit it on the drop as I was floating it down. There's a great show on the sounder, and um, I floated down on top of it, and old mates hit it. He wasn't even that far down, but uh, he's another good one. Or well, when I say good one, for today, good eating size. Before I could hold that fish up for a photo, Dad hooked one of his mates. He hit it all right on the yeah. drop. There'll be another one about the same, we reckon. Maybe a little bit bigger, this one. About the same. I think it's a bit better fish than you first thought. That's what I'm saying, it hit it pretty hard. Like The other thing that could have happened here is Dad's second hook could have come around and hit it in the side. So um, it's coming up sideways, which is never easy, but I think it did hit like a bit better fish. Anyway, we'll see what it is. It's 
hooked in the side and it's a better fish. Well, that was the issue. Dad, you hooked him in the bum. Not quite, in the side. In the side. So that's the beauty of that rig having two hooks. So there you go, guys. That's the little one I just got. Nearly 40, just around 40. And that's the one Dad got. What, 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 what did that one go? About 40, about over 50. 45? Yeah, about 50. About 50, so anyway, a couple of nice ones there. Of course, Dad's is bigger. Every video he has to catch a bigger fish. So anyway, at least I got one for the bag. Now, I just thought I'd really quickly jump in and explain to you how we're fishing this day rather than you just watching us crank in fish all video. So, we actually found this patch of reef in summer while we were trolling for pelagics and we caught some snapper off it that day. So, the plan was to head there early this morning and what we do when we first arrive at our spots is we look for some bait or fish on the sounder and when we find some, we try to work that pretty hard because if you're not on the fish, you tend to not get bites at all. Now, if we are struggling like we were on this day, what we'll do is we'll go for a bit longer drift along the reef and see if we can drift onto some good ground or good fish. Um, you know, you often start to congregate a bunch of marks sort of close together. So what we do is we know which way we're drifting now. We'll go up in front of those marks and just drift all the way across them and see what we can come across. Often you'll find fish throughout that area and you can just change your drift line if you're struggling. It's a really good technique if you're having a slow day, just do a longer drift along that reef and you never know what you're going to hook or find on the sounder. Guys, we, we're literally just sitting here saying that um, the snapper had gone off the chew a little bit the last few drifts. We haven't got a bite or had to turn the camera on, but this is a solid fish. It's even taken a bit of line, so yeah, just take it easy on him because you might have him just hooked, foul hooked again. Oh, sideways snapper. He's hooked in the side too, I think. So this one, guys, I didn't get hit on the drop, so I literally just wound it up off the bottom about six wines just to avoid getting snagged. Solid fish aren't going to be afraid to come up off the bottom to eat your bait anyway. And uh, it's going pretty hard. It, it smacked it, so I think it's come around and hooked itself in the side. So anyway, just got to keep the pressure on and ease it up. Cull up. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that one, guys. Just measured him and he's just legal. Just thought I'd show you a close up of those colours. Beautiful blue spots. Colours on the fins. Blue fins. Electric blue on the eye. They're really awesome fish. Alright, so Dad's on here, guys. If you notice Matt's disappeared, it's because he's gone up in the cabin for a bit of a sleep. It slowed down a little bit, but um, as you've seen, we're just picking away. Dad took another one here. Once again, not a monster, but it could be number eight to round off a nice feed for the family, a nice bag. So, um, fingers crossed. That's all right. He's a measurer. Yeah, he's a measurer. I think he'll just go. There we go, that's number eight for us. Just panties today, but uh, not complaining at all. They're still going to be absolutely delicious. Still good to get out here with Dad and Matt and my brother. And uh, have some fun drifting and catching some of these. So, yeah, very nice. Well, guys, we're back in now. As you can see, I still have my jacket and warm stuff on. It's definitely winter here in southeast Queensland, that's for sure. But it was still an, a beautiful day. The wind got up a little bit there for a while, but inside here, it's just beautiful. It's a, Great day and uh, how good going out with your dad and your brother and catching a feed of snapper, getting your bag limit of eight and just having a great morning all together, catching it with them, just having a joke and a laugh. So really good and it's going to be a few really good feeds for the family. So we're going to take that home to mum as well, fill them up for you when we get back there and uh, give you a bit of a look and uh, maybe even cook some up for you. So we're going to do that now. Hope you've enjoyed the video up until now and uh, yeah, I'll see you back at home. Well guys, we're back at home now. These two are cleaning the boat. There's been a bit of a twist in the tail. It was a good morning out on the water, but when we got in the car, I got a call about my foot that I was talking about, that my x-ray results had come back, and I've got a fractured foot, as you can see here. So we literally still had the boat on the back of the car. I had to go and get 
a moon boot to put on, so I've got that for the next six to eight weeks. Great fun. But it gets me out of cleaning the boat today, so these two are going to do it, and uh, I'll give you a look when we do the filleting anyway, just at how clean those fillets are, and um, if I can, maybe just a little bit of how Dad's doing it. So anyway, these guys are going to clean the boat. Sorry, guys. I bet. <laughs> Stay tuned. Beautiful. Skinless. Skinless, boneless. Still alive, jumping out of your hands. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that brings us to the end of the video. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and hit that like button and leave a comment. Ask whatever you need to ask and share the video with your mates. So, I hope this video shows you that you don't have to go wide all the time to catch fish. You can catch them in a bit closer and still have a great day out and that's what we did. So, Really enjoyable video and I hope you guys learned something from it. Until next time, tight lines and happy fishing.